Hello and welcome back to another video from Gerber Camper Vans. Now we're back on the iPhone because my camera's still broken, but today we're going to be doing a quick tour of this T6.1 Transporter. Um, it's a long wheelbase, high top, it's a really unique conversion inside. So I'm going to jump behind the camera and I'm just going to kind of take you through it. So let's do this. So this is a Gerber Dura conversion. It's a Volkswagen T6.1 and it's painted indium grey. Long wheelbase van, like I said before, with a fixed high top from Volkswagen. Now I'll just open it up and we'll have a look inside. Very nice. And you can see our Dura conversion has two seats at the front, the high top with all the storage up on top. And then we've got the big 129 centimeter wide rib bed in the back with seating for free. And this folds down into a bed. And now as we come into the camper van, we can see we've got large vitrofrigo fridge. Because this is a long wheelbase, it's 400 millimeters longer than a short wheelbase. And that's basically this cupboard. So this is the difference in size between the short and the long wheelbase. And this little bit extra space means that we can fit a slightly, slightly wider fridge in here too. And that's this freezer box on the top so you can just open it up have a look inside there you've got a little tray for your ice cubes really handy above that we've just got a little compartment here and that's just for storing little utensils and whatnot this does have a wallace hob on top if you didn't have the wallace you would have a drawer here but because the wallace is such a deep unit and there's so much going on underneath that you can't see it means that you don't have the drawer i'll close that up we've got a controller for the wallace on the front and we'll just have a look on top at the Wallace here. So Wallace finished in this new black finish. Absolutely fantastic. Everyone's now having this because it's been so well received. Much easier to clean. We open it up and you'll see we've got the Wallace hot plate. We've got a uh, big side, small side. So one is hotter than the other basically. And that's going to give you instant sort of reduction in heat when you slide your pan over. We've also got thermostatic control for the heater and also sort of one to six for the hob so the wallace does double up as a night heater all you've got to do is select the function on the controller fan activates and then it's going to blow hot air out really efficient and it's going to keep you nice and warm all night um, we've got a can sink in this one so nice deep can sink cold water sink you can see that there loads of room for all sorts of pots and pans now, moving back into this one, we've got a few additional extras that are different from the typical Dura conversion. The first thing you'll probably see are these storage compartments on either side. So I'll just open some of this storage up and give you a look inside. So we've got a big locker at the back with a light in there and you can get in and store all sorts of stuff in there. Loads of room. We'll just put it away. And same again for the side lockers, one on this side, and then another one on this side. I'm just going to close the door because these are noisy buggers. And like I said, we've got the big wide rib seat bed. So what I'll do is I'll just open it up now. And what you've basically got to do is pull the handle down here and then this folds over. So I will sit you down. fold it over and you can see I've opened up the rib now we've got loads of space in there for storage we've also got our porta potty so that can be pulled out from the front underneath the seat here that door is big enough and that will give you use of the porta potty next thing you want to do is just pull this lever up and the back part will fold down and this is going to give us our 129 centimeter wide bed in the back of the Dura camper. And that's looking fantastic. Really comfortable rib beds. They are very firm. If you like a firm bed, then perfect. I like mine a little bit softer, so I put a duvalet on mine, but you can put any topper that fits on it if you need just a little bit more comfort. Now the back, now this part here, the back does pop up or at any angle so you can sit up at night and read your book, that sort of stuff. We've also got table up on top here. So that pops out and that will go 
just here on this rail and it will come across so when we're sat with our free seats out we've got a nice big table to use in the camper van and I'll just put the bed away and we'll carry on the tour so one part up so we're back in we've got our seats again and we'll sit on this side now you can see that in the the Jura or the Cromarty we've got loads of feet room down the bottom, loads of room if you've got dogs, really popular layout for those who have big dogs, gives them somewhere to sleep. We've got our second table just here and that pops out over the passenger seat. We've also got storage up in the top here so I'll just pop that open for you. And sort of same thing, get the light on and you can see I've got loads of storage up there. We've also got a couple of lights underneath for use on these driver seats. And again, great if you're reading a book, that sort of thing. We've got little cubby holes either side. You can store all sorts of stuff in them. And then we've got our skylight up here, which we can open up. I'll just lock that away for the time being. And we've also got our side windows. Difficult to open with one hand, but they basically pop open. They've got midge mesh on them. And they've also got blinds for at night to keep... Oh, that's not on properly. To keep all the light out. Really, really good. And we'll leave it up with the mesh on. That's on both sides. And now this van has got hand controls for disability use. Uh, basically what that means is you can control the van just with your hands. Um, what I'll do is I'll take you around and I'll quickly show you what that looks like and kind of explain how it works. So we're just in the cab of the T6.1 now and you'll see the dash and this T6.1 dash is actually fantastic, really well specced and it just looks so modern, so good. But you'll notice this feature here, which isn't in all of the standard vehicles. And this basically allows a disabled user to control the vehicle purely just by using their hands. And you can basically see that if I put my hand on here, if I push in, I'm compressing the brake, so I've got brakes by pushing in, and then I've also got acceleration just like so. So I'm just pulling back with my index finger and I'm using the accelerator. Now this is an automatic, it's a DSG, we can tell by the gear knob. Very simple, the van's going to do the gears for you because it's an automatic. You've got your accelerator here with your finger and you push in for the brakes, leaving your left hand free to control to steer. Really, really great system really intuitive, really quick and easy to get used to. Obviously we are moving these vans around all the time in the workshop. We do use the foot pedals but we have tried to use the hand pedal just so we can understand how it works and it's quick to get used to. Really really great system from Volkswagen. So yeah hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have please make sure to subscribe. We've got loads of vans in the workshop at the moment. I'm just about to do another little video in this uh, crafter here once Ian's out of it. So yeah Make sure you subscribe, keep up to date with everything that's going on here and we'll see you soon. Cheers.